11 signs you're the best sex he's ever had. Seriously, him falling asleep right after is a compliment, okay? 1. He has a post-sex recovery routine comparable to most professional athletes. If he needs to chug Gatorade and ice his glutes after sex, it must have been pretty intense. 2. He's had multiple orgasms in one session. This is incredibly impressive. Do you know about the refractory period for men? It's like making his penis run a marathon, and then somehow still having the energy to say, hell yeah, I can run another marathon. Let's do this. 3. He falls asleep immediately afterward. Believe it or not, this is a compliment. He's completely exhausted and happy because your amazing sex put him into a deep, relaxing sleep. 4. He's driven through blizzards to get to your place. If your governor declared a state of emergency and he still decided to risk his life for sex, then it must be pretty good, unless he's just incredibly desperate. Note, this doesn't count if he has four-wheel drive and there was less than a foot of snow. 5. You go for eight hours non-stop. You know, people compare pizza to sex by saying even bad pizza is still good. But I don't know anyone who's eaten bad pizza for eight hours straight. 6. He says, hey, that was the best sex I've ever had. I don't know, he seems pretty trustworthy to me. I'd take him at his word. 7. He has a giant, goofy smile on his face afterward. You can't fake that smile. That's the smile of a man who just had the best sex of his life. 8. When you Netflix and chill, and you make a move, he never tells you, no, wait, this is the good part. No matter what movie it is. 9. He never tries to rush the foreplay. Because he wants to enjoy every second. When Drake said, sometimes it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination, he was definitely talking about sex. 10. You've really forced him to innovate his sex game. You've taught him new positions so ambitious he needs to stretch first, and you maybe even introduced a few new fetishes along the way. You've created a sex monster. 11. He was a virgin until 5 minutes ago. You are his de facto sex champion. Congratulations. 8 reasons he's not initiating sex. Number 4 is a bigger deal than you think. Given the media portrayal and peer discussions, it's almost taken for granted that anyone who is dating is also sexually active. Millennials, in particular, are often unfairly labeled as a free love generation, engaging in casual sex without commitment. However, this stereotype is far from the truth. Many people are not sexually active, and if he hasn't initiated anything, it doesn't imply there's something wrong with him, or you, for that matter. If sex is significant to you, it's worth discussing it openly and fairly. 1. He's old-fashioned. It's often assumed that if a couple is going to have sex, it will likely happen early in the relationship. Many people follow a three-date rule or something similar, expecting intimacy within the first few dates. However, this isn't always the case. He might be an old-fashioned romantic who wants to wait for the right moment, whether that means waiting for a special occasion or ensuring the relationship is serious. Although men are frequently portrayed as being primarily driven by sex, this stereotype doesn't apply to everyone. Loving sex isn't wrong either, everyone simply has their own perspective on it. 2. He's a virgin. It's entirely possible he is still a virgin and feels self-conscious about it. He shouldn't, but with the prevalent talk and behavior suggesting everyone is sexually active, he might feel embarrassed about his inexperience, from handling a condom to exploring your body. Alternatively, he might be open to having sex but doesn't want to lose his virginity in a casual or drunken encounter early in dating. Perhaps he wants to wait and save himself for his future spouse. 3. He's religious. He might also be waiting until marriage for religious reasons. Many religions forbid sex before marriage, and devout followers adhere to these principles. This decision deserves respect, and if it's something you have concerns about, 
it's a discussion you should have with your partner. 4. He's scared of rejection. He might really want to have sex with you, but he could be overthinking it. Perhaps he believes you're out of his league or fears he'll mess things up, leading to a lack of confidence. Even if he's not a virgin, he might still be inexperienced. 5. He's just not that into sex. He might simply have a low sex drive or be asexual. Not every guy is highly interested in sex, he could just be enjoying your time together in other ways. He may express affection, love, and appreciation differently and might not view sex as significant. If this is the case and the relationship is otherwise great, you need to consider how important sex is to you as well. 6. He's got some kind of emotional hang-up. He might have low self-esteem, a scar, or a post-surgery device he's reluctant for you to see. If you like him, this likely wouldn't matter to you, but he might still feel self-conscious about it. If you suspect this is why he hasn't undressed in front of you, be mindful, gentle, and understanding. 7. He just sees your dates as hanging out with a friend and you're not on the same page. Sometimes people misunderstand each other's intentions. Is it likely? No. But is it possible? Yes. If he hasn't even kissed you yet, let alone made any romantic moves, he might just see you as a friend and be unaware of your romantic interest. If that thought makes you cringe, don't worry. It's okay to ask him where you stand and where he sees things going, without assuming you two are dating. And remember, some people have broad definitions of what a date is. 8. One of his friends is into you and he doesn't want to get too serious yet. So, he's into you, right? But maybe one of his friends, who was also at the party where you two met, is interested in you too. He's trying to navigate this carefully to ensure things are progressing before risking his friend's anger if he has sex with you and things fizzle out. This can be seen as thoughtful or weird, depending on your perspective. Alternatively, he might not want to tell his friend about you until he knows it's serious. Perhaps he believes it will be easier to let his friend down gently if you're madly in love rather than just casual partners. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.